What's going on guys, Crypto Fiend here with everything crypto related. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the KuCoin exchange with a step-by-step -step guide on how to start trading today. Before we get into the video, I just have to say thank you to you 12,000 subscribers out there for supporting the content as well as just being a part of the community. You guys are awesome. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing for everything crypto related in the future. But for today, we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the KuCoin exchange. Now, two things I really like about this exchange is first, it's very, very easy to use for all those beginners out there trying to first trying to purchase their first cryptocurrency, their first altcoin. Second off, they adopt a lot of cryptocurrencies that just get released onto the market. Now, the benefits of purchasing cryptocurrencies that just get released onto the market is usually you can get them at a lower price than what they would be once they get released onto other exchanges like Bittrex and Binance, for example. So that's the great benefits KuCoin offers is they have those cryptocurrencies that just got out there, are brand new, and uh, are at low prices. Um, so this is the homepage for KuCoin. It's KuCoin.com. Now, if you're not already signed, if you don't already have an account, there's gonna be a sign in button somewhere up here. Uh, now I'm already signed into my account, so you can't see it, but you're gonna click on that, fill out the email, the password, confirm your password, go to your email and confirm the email that they send you and get logged in. Now I will be leaving a link in the description. It is a referral link, so if you use that link, it won't cost you anything, but you will be supporting the channel and I would highly appreciate it, but it's not necessary at all. So this is the homepage you're going to see. As you can see up here, they have some news that they uh, post every day talking about different stuff. They also list the cr cryptocurrencies that they just listed on their exchange as well as some more news over here. Down here you can just see some cryptocurrencies and their current price movement. Um, but what you're going to want to do when you first get on the exchange is you're going to want to fund the account. So what you're going to do is you're going to go and click on the assets tab right here. This is where you're going to deposit cryptocurrencies to your account. Now they have this little tab here. You can click on that tab and look at all the different cryptocurrencies they offer. Also, you can click on overview and see the long list that they offer here. Now, the average person usually sends Bitcoin or Ethereum to exchanges to start trading on. A little tip I'm going to give you guys is when you're going to send a cryptocurrency to an exchange to use to purchase other cryptocurrencies, I suggest sending Litecoin. Now, the reason I choose Litecoin is it's very cheap in fees to send from one place to the other, and it's also a lot faster than Bitcoin. It's not super fast, but it's faster than Bitcoin. So that's why I use Litecoin when funding accounts. So what I would do is I would send Litecoin, I would click on deposit, I would type the, uh, copy this address, press copy, go to the website or wallet that I'm trying to send Litecoin from, uh, paste this address into the withdraw tab on that website, and then send the cryptocurrency. Now it can take time for, to get from one place to the other, so be patient, just be patient, it takes time. Once your cryptocurrency gets here, uh, for example, if you do send Litecoin, what you're gonna wanna do is go over to the markets tab. Now. KuCoin does have, offer a couple different markets, which is what I really like about this exchange. They have the Bitcoin market, the Ethereum market, the NEO market, the Tether market, and the KuCoin token market. So they have far, five different markets that they offer. Now we are gonna be mainly looking at the Bitcoin market because they offer the most amount of cryptocurrencies. So if you do do my little Litecoin tip, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the Litecoin um, market on the under the Bitcoin tab. So right here you would click on Litecoin and what this is going to do is if it goes, it's going to bring you to the exchange. Now here this is where you can sell your Litecoin and convert it into Bitcoin and then you can take that Bitcoin and go purchase whatever other cryptocurrency you want. So up here on this tab is where you can navigate through the different exchanges as well as the different cryptocurrencies. So you have the exchanges up here and then the list of cryptocurrencies. So we are going to be looking at uh, Utrust for this video simply because I did a video on Utrust yesterday and it just seems suitable. So we're going to be looking at Utrust. Now I'm going to be going over everything on this screen so you guys have no trouble figuring out, figuring out what's what. So up here you have that tab again where you can navigate through the different markets as well as search your coin. 
right here on the right, you have the last price for you trust in Satoshi's, which is the Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin form. Uh, also, you have the USD form at 85 cents. You have the percent change in Bitcoin. You have the current bid price in Bitcoin, and as well as it shows in the USD amount, the current asking price, the current high for the current high for um, you trust, the current low for you trust, as well as the amount of you trust you trust tokens sold in the past 24 hours, which is 55 million. So this is the main chart that you're going to look at to see the current price movement of the cryptocurrency that you're trying to look at and all that kind of stuff. So up here you have this time tab. Now what this is going to do, it's going to change the amount of time between each candlestick. So right now we have it on the eight hours. So that means each candlestick equals eight hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it to the next, the past 30 minutes. So that means each candlestick is 30 minutes. So as you can see, the lower the amount of time you change it to, the more of the graph you can see. Um, also up here, they have different graphs you can choose. So if you don't like the candles, you could change it to a, a line or whatever you want. They also have indicators, so if you know how to use indicators, which you should definitely learn because it's very beneficial, is uh, you can look at all these different indicators and click on whatever you, one you want, and it'll pop up at the bottom here, like I just clicked on the MACD, so it'll show up right here at the bottom. They also have a compare tool, so you can compare different cryptocurrencies to each other, which is an awesome feature not m many other exchanges have. And uh, that's pretty much all of that. They also have a full screen mode if you want to do that as well. Um, so we are in the Bitcoin market, so everything is going to be based off in Satoshi's. Over here, this is going to be the sell orders. Down here, this is going to be the buy orders. So the buy orders are green, the sell orders are red. In the middle, this is going to be the current price of you trust as well as the percent change. Over here on this right side, this is going to be all the trading history for you trust. Uh, down here, this is going to be the overall depth in aspect of the trading history of the orders of you trust so as you can see more people are selling right now uh, than buying down here this is going to be where your active orders are shown so if I just purchase you trust right now you're gonna see an active order down here and then Dell orders is all the orders that you purchased in the past so as you can see I purchased you trust three times in the past and it'll show your history down here over here this is where you're going to buy and sell your cryptocurrencies so right now if I wanted to buy you trust Right here it shows the price, so you're gonna, right here it shows the best price. So if you wanna purchase the cryptocurrency at the current value it's at, you would just click on the best price and then type in the amount you wanna purchase. Um, over here for the sell side, it's the same thing. This is the best price to sell at and then you would type in the amount of you trust tokens you want to sell and then press sell. Um, so that's mainly the exchange aspect of KuCoin. Uh, it's very simple to do. I know it might look intimidating because there's all these numbers and charts and it looks crazy, but it's very easy to do. Don't get intimidated. Just go out there, do it. You won't mess up. It's very easy. Just buy and sell. Um, so that's the exchange part of KuCoin. That's where you go to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. So we're going to go back over to the assets tab. And over here on the side, you have the overview. So this is going to show everything from the asset to the available amount to the reserved amount and the total amount and then deposit and withdraw tab uh, right here this is where you can see all your active orders so if you just went and purchased you trust you would see in the active orders here until it get fit got filled and then once it gets filled it will move over to the Dell orders and the, these this is your history showing what you've purchased and sold um, so in the overview say you wanted to withdraw uh, your you trust tokens from the exchange what you would do first is you would find the you trust token on this list Wherever it is. It's right here at the bottom So you would go over here and press withdraw now when you press this it's gonna have an address bar You're gonna go to whatever wallet or exchange you're trying to send you trust to type the address in here the amount you're trying to send and then put in your Google Authenticator. Now, this is not required. You do not ne you do not need to use the Google Authenticator, but I highly suggest using it. What it is, it's a security feature that they offer, so it helps uh, keep your account very secure from people hacking into it and stuff like that. So the Google Authenticator is an app you download on your phone. It's a six-digit numerical code that changes every 10 seconds. So you, you need to enter that six-digit code 
um, in this bar and then press confirm. And then when that happens, your transaction will start processing and it'll show down here um, that is processing under status. And then once it's succeeded, it will say succeeded that it's sent successfully. Uh, so that's really the whole exchange, guys. It's very simple. It's really these two main tabs. Now, under settings, that's where you can see your personal information as well as change your password, set up the Google Authenticator. Um, over here in Explore, they have a couple features that they offer that if you wanted to look into, you could do as well, as well as they have a news tab so you can see all the hottest and latest news for KuCoin. Uh, that's where they'll talk about the cryptocurrencies that they're planning on listing and listing or were listed and stuff like that. So that's mainly the exchange. Again, you have the markets. This is where you're going to be purchasing cryptocurrencies, whether you use Bitcoin, Ethereum, NEO, Tether, or the KuCoin token. And then you have the assets tab. This is where all your cryptocurrencies is going to be stored, where you can deposit and withdraw. So again, why I like KuCoin is because it's so simple and easy to use for those beginners out there trying to buy their first alternative coins. Second off, they list all those cryptocurrencies that just got released onto the blockchain, onto the market. Now, the benefits of having those cryptocurrencies at your leisure is you can usually purchase those cryptocurrencies currencies at very discounted prices before they get listed onto Bittrex and Binance and the price explodes. So this KuCoin is a great exchange to use. I highly suggest using KuCoin. Um, so I will be leaving a link in the description. It's a referral link. If you use that link to sign up, it won't cost you anything, but you will be supporting the channel and I would highly appreciate it, but it's not necessary. Uh, so that is going to be the video for today, guys. Now, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer all of them. Uh, but that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.